1,000 feet below Pennsylvania's Appalachian Trail, a group of cavers accidentally open a vast room, filled with an unknown species of pterosaur-like creatures called, Vesps. The Vesps violently kill the researchers, fly out of the mine, and seek the noisiest areas across the country. A teenage girl, Allie, who lost her hearing in an accident, lives with her family in Montclair, New Jersey. Her family includes her hard-working father, Hugh, her mother Kelly, younger brother, Jude, and her maternal grandmother, Lynn, who has terminal lung cancer. While returning home, Allie is joined by her crush, Rob, who has a close connection with her, and he also likes her. Despite Allie's hearing impairment, she is able to talk using sign language and lip reading. One night, a television broadcast informs the citizens about the killer Vesps and the necessity of staying quiet. Glenn, Hugh's lifelong best friend, joins the family, as word spreads about the global epidemic that is killing people and wreaking havoc. Glenn and the family decide to leave the city and move to a quiet place in mountains. They take some necessary belongings, load up two cars, and move away. Allie uses FaceTime on her iPad to talk to Rob about the problem, as they are driving. On their way, Glenn stops at a gas station, where an armed man tries to carjack Hugh. Glenn manages to shoot the men in the leg, successfully evading the threat. In the morning, Glenn and Hugh come across a traffic bottleneck, forcing them to drive off the road. Glenn swerves to avoid hitting a stampede of deer, and ends up flipping his car over an embankment. When he is stuck in his crashed car, Glenn makes Hugh continue without him, but Hugh tries to help him. After that, Glenn uses his gun, and forces Hugh to leave the place anyway. When the family gets back in the car, their dog begins to bark, grabbing Vesp's attention. Hugh's family is terrified inside his car, as Vesp's swarm it. To get the Vesp's to come towards him, Glenn pulls the trigger multiple times. Glenn passes away eventually. Their dog is barking so loudly, that Hugh had to let him go, having no other choice to survive. When the situation gets quiet, Hugh steps out of the vehicle, in order to try something to distract the Vesps. Suddenly, Lynn brings a Vesp back to the car, with her asthmatic cough. Hugh notices a tire iron nearby, and tosses it away, in order to get the Vesp to move away. Hugh then lights Glenn's car on fire with Lynn's cigarette lighter, causing Vesps to self-immolate. The family is unable to drive their car, because of its loudness, so they hike on foot into a forest. The family discovers a compound of gated cabins, and decide to visit the place. When they arrive at the cabin at night, an elderly owner goes outside to use a shotgun to drive the family away, but the Vesps attack and murder her. To get over the gate, Hugh and his family have to crawl via a drain tunnel. Hugh successfully passes through the tunnel, but when his family follows him, a hissing rattlesnake draws Vesps towards the tunnel, resulting in Kelly's legs getting bitten and clawed. Hugh quickly makes a smart move, and turns on a nearby wood chipper, luring the swarm to their demise. After everyone enters the cabin, Kelly's injuries are started to be treated. When Allie gets in touch with Rob once more, she learns that things are becoming worse for his family. The following morning, Lynn warns Hugh and Allie, that without antibiotics, Kelly's infection would get worse. To get medical supplies, Hugh and Allie decide to explore a lonely town, while Jude stays behind with Kelly and Lynn. They silently move across the town, and visit a pharmacy, while an unknown man is watching them. They enter the store, filled with numerous dead bodies, and begin to collect antibiotics, while the men is watching. Suddenly, Ali notices swarm eggs, and screams, calling the swarm inside the store. Ali suggests an idea, to activate the fire alarm of the store. Hugh sets a mop on fire, and distracts the swarm by activating the fire alarm, giving them a chance to escape. While returning, they come across the same man, who calls himself, the Reverend, and is tongueless. Hugh and Allie are invited to join the Reverend sect, the Hushed. With grace, Hugh and Allie decline his offer, and head back to the cabin. Allie informs her father about a CNN program report, which claims that people are moving north toward colder climates, in order to survive, since Vesps are averse to harsh cold. Allie also cites regions, that are now disconnected from outside communication and energy, referred to as the Grey. Later, Rob texts Allie to let her know, that he is heading north to a sanctuary, known as the Refuge. In the meantime, the pastor and his entourage arrive at the cabin. Hugh declines to join the hushed once more. The reverend seems to be implying that he wants Allie for procreation purposes. After Hugh pulls a firearm on the reverend, he is forced to depart. 
Later that night, Hugh notices some disturbance outside the cabin, and the family members wake up one by one. They find a young girl outside at the door, and Hugh eventually let her inside. The family recognizes her as one of the hushed, after noticing her missing tongue. The girl flashes a vest full of smartphones, all of which ring at once. More cell phones strategically placed throughout the cabin attract a swarm of vests that fly through the windows. Several members of the hushed break in during the chaos to kidnap Allie. Outside, Lynn frees Allie from her kidnappers. As Allie makes her escape, Lynn offers herself as a sacrifice by yelling to attract the vests toward her and the kidnappers. The family sob in despair as the reverend and his assailants take Allie away. However, the family makes an effort to retaliate and manage to defeat the group. After fending off the assailants, Hugh and Kelly assassinate the reverend. The next day, the family leaves the cabin and trek north for some days, until they eventually arrive at the refuge. After getting reception, Allie gets messages from Rob, revealing that he is also nearby. When Allie and Rob get back together, they start modifying their survival techniques to hunt down Vesps. Before the ending credits, Allie's narration states whether the Vesps will adapt to the cold, or humans will adapt to a soundless lifestyle, like she did when she lost her hearing.